Well, Kerbis, everybody will remember you. 1995 seems such a long time ago, but since then, you started in the coffee business. Obviously, Vesanop has gone from strength to strength. You now got 89 stores countrywide. What an amazing transition from a rugby player. I know you've still got a lot of passion for the game, but Vesanop and coffee is your business. Dave, thanks. Yeah, it's, um, it's been a love of my life, besides my wife. <laughs> um, for a while and uh, I've always wanted to get involved in the food trade. Um, I never knew what and then you know stumbled across a, a coffee shop tucked away in a, in a shopping center and I got this gut feeling. Stupidity, call it what you want, uh, bought the store, overpaid for it and that's how I got induced into the food trade you know and uh, but as you as you know like uh, golf is, is, is one of your big loves uh, so is the, I think people is one of my love and, 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 and uh, you know what do people do they, they socialize they eat they drink coffee and, and there's nothing better than a great cup of coffee absolutely I think it's something we look forward to every day but on the back of the coffee you've now grown into sort of a restaurant business you've acquired Dulcie in the last couple of years how's that complemented your business and your strategy going forward well I think I think one must be like in, in sport you know you've got to be able to adapt all the time to adjust and, and, and as the markets change, you know, uh, it's become very expensive to go into shopping centres and, 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 and it's it sort of become a scenario where you work for the landlord uh, and in this game it's a very tough game, uh, the restaurant trade, you've got to make money out of it if you put in the house at 365 days a year and, we, and, I, and I started looking for other alternatives, you know, so we started looking at the captive markets, the hospitals and, and the macros and so forth. And we met people like yourself, you know, in, 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 the, in the golfing game and in golf estates and golf clubs. I think it's a great opportunity. Um, it, it's, it's sort of everything in, in, in one. And uh, it's a great new challenge for us and, and one we really, really want to explore uh, in a big way in the future. I think it's massive potential. Well, that footprint started in Pretoria just over a year ago. You've known a whole lot of golf clubs countrywide. You obviously have expansion ideas. Is there anything in particular that you've learned differently from the golf club industry as opposed to the shopping centre industry? Well, it's, it's a very uh, involved uh, environment, the golf club. You deal um, not only with the golfer coming to play golf, but his needs at the halfway house, uh, before and after for a dinner, uh, corporates coming out, having corporate, uh, corporate days, club go uh, golf club members, family members. While there's a golf game going, you've got to look after the family members, you've got to look after the, the, uh, the, the members of the club just coming for a drink or a Sunday lunch or even a 21st or a, or a wedding anniversary. So it's all sort of tied in one, which is exciting, but you've got to really juggle it well and we're learning and we're learning while we're running of course uh, we all remember you as a rugby player you must have learned a lot playing sport at such a high level that's helped you with the evolution of your business Dave I'm preaching to you the converter you know about sport uh, meaning what, what it is to, to, to function under pressure the restaurant trade is pure pressure you deal with different individuals on a daily basis how to to act how to um, solve problems um, you sometimes have to have to sort of uh, run into a situation unknown, unfamiliar, out of the comfort zone. But I love that kind of adrenaline. That's what sport taught me. And one thing about this restaurant trade is I, I had no formal training, but I had a passion for this. My mum was a great cook. She taught me how I love cooking at home. And that's what I, I love about this environment. Uh, and, and, and that's what we get specifically at, at, at clubs like the Copper Leaves and the, and the Joburg Royals and the, and the Abotsis and so forth and, and then the ones coming up is that you deal with these kind of pressure cooker uh, uh, situations every day but I, I enjoy that because that's people and I love people and I think if one uh, can't think on your feet and you can't solve problems you know this is not the game for you. Kubis of course along this challenging journey there must have been one or two times that you hit a low if that did happen how did you deal with it how did you come out on top? I think one one thing in business, uh, uh, I think as you will also very well know, is to find reliable people that share the same passion and commitment. Uh, people take responsibility and accountability for their actions. And for years, I struggled to find those people that share the same passion that I could trust and that could buy into this, this dream and this goal. Mm. Um, and then I went to headhunt people. That, and and, and I must, I'm very proud to say that currently the, the Visa Coffee Holdings on the Visnov side and the Dolce side, we have an operations team, we've got a marketing team, we've got a CEO that really buys into the passion and is as passionate as I am about this trade. Uh, and, and, and people that take responsibility. And, and, I, and I'm, that's what makes me even more excited um, to have that kind of team on board that uh, I believe will go far. Let's just chat about golf for a second. I know for a period of time you did play golf. 
I believe it became a little frustrating for you. It wasn't fast and active as like, uh, like rugby. <laughs> so you stopped playing golf, unfortunately. I unfortunately did. I, I, I've been threatening to start again. I played a, a, a hell of a lot of golf with my brothers and my father. We played, I would say, virtually every afternoon after school. Um, in a town called the Runnymood, we, uh, uh, the uh, Gary Player designed that golf course, the Oppenheimer course along the Orange River. Beautiful golf course. Unbelievable. Nobody around. We just played it the whole day. Um, but golf, as you very well know, is like, any, is like anything out there. You're only as good as your last game. And uh, it's, it's, it could be a frustrating game. I don't have to tell you that. Uh, if you don't, uh, I believe, play it three, four times a, a week, you can't expect to play decent golf. And it became frustrating to me because of, of, of the new venture. Uh, um, I had to spend a lot of time getting involved in television as yourself. You know, it, it takes a lot of time out of your day. Um, we're blessed with two beautiful kids as well. So you want to spend time with the family. So it, it, it became sort of a frustration to me purely, not the game but because I couldn't spend time with it. But uh, I'm making a comeback. I'm making a comeback and, and, and you'll be the first to be challenged. <laughs> and, and on that point, do you have a favorite golf course? Was there one that, that appealed to you uh, other than the original? I, I suppose that Gary Player design course on the, down the Orange River was, because we grew up there and we yeah. had a sort of a, we knew every little corner, every dog leg, every bunker. We knew every bloody bunker <laughs> we played. But anyway, so I think that's a great, I think, uh, I think, the way copper leaf has been designed and layered, I think it's it's a it's a it's a it's a beautiful course with with, with beautiful views with great uh, 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 possibilities. I think Fancourt is, is many people's favourite. Um, this very course, uh, Joburg Royal Kensington, we're sitting is a beautiful course with, with all the trees and so forth. And there's one in in Katu, in the middle of South Africa. No, then have you ever been there? Yeah. Where Andre Markraft, the former box coach, is, is involved. You know, uh, and that with all the thorn trees, it's the biggest concentration of uh, of camel thorn trees in the world. So it's like a, a, a heritage site in the world. That's a beautiful uh, course for, for that kind of reason. So we've got so many beautiful courses in South Africa. It's, it's endless to name, you know, uh, the, uh, the possibilities. I think uh, one of the wonderful things about having this opportunity to chat to you is just to get a sense of your passion for not only for cooking, the restaurant business, the business, golf, it's wonderful and, and there's no doubt that you're going to go from strength to strength. So thank you very much for your time and all the best with the growth of both brands, Vissanoff and Dulce. Thanks Dave, much appreciated. Thank you. Thank you.